In this video, we are going to look at simplifying exponents using the product rule. To set this up, we will consider the expression a cubed times a squared. a cubed means a has been multiplied three times. a squared means there's two a's. This means in the expression, there are a total of five a's, or a to the fifth, multiplied together. This is where we get the product rule. 3a's plus 2a's gave us the f a to the fifth. This means when we have the same base, we will simply add the exponents together, m plus n, to simplify into one factor. This is the product rule. We add exponents on the common factors. Let's look at some examples where we can see this property work out. In this problem, we see several monomials multiplied together. First, we will multiply the numbers. 2 times 4 times negative 3 is negative 24. To find out the number of x's that are multiplied together, we will add the exponents. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. This expression is negative 24, x to the 6th. Notice when no exponent was written on the last factor, we assume the exponent there is 1. Let's take a look at one more example using the product rule. In this problem, we will start by multiplying the numbers. 5 times 2 is 10. On each of the variables, we will again add the exponents. On the a's, we have 3 plus 9 for a total of 12 a's multiplied together. On the b's, 7 plus 2 gives us a total of 9 b's multiplied together. There is also a c to the 4th for a total of 4 c's multiplied in the expression. This gives us our final answer, 10 a to the 12th, b to the 9th, c to the 4th. By adding the exponents on common factors on the bases, we're able to simplify expressions using the product rule.